Today, I'm going to be making a fully functional Rubik's Cube completely out of toilet paper. Our planet Earth is drowning in plastic pollution. It's considered by some to be a global crisis, the overabundance of plastics. A material that is also virtually indestructible. So we have about 8 to 12 million tons of plastic entering the ocean. And in places on Earth that even humans don't occupy. And Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> Everything from the packaging down to the cubes themselves is all plastic. That is why today I've decided to become the messiah that nobody asked for and I'm going to be making the world first toilet paper Rubik's Cube and trying to sell it to actual people. And any money I get from the sale of this cube will be donated towards Team Seas. Now what is Team Seas? Team Seas is an ocean cleaning initiative led by Macroba, Mr. Beast and a ton of other creators around the world. The aim is to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the oceans and beaches before the end of the year. This is going to be done by raising 30 million US dollars which means that for every dollar raised one pound of trash should be removed from the oceans. Guys, so I'm currently at this bridge and take a look at all this garbage. Look at all of this. It flows down into the river and then into the ocean. One thing I like about TMC is that one of the strategies is to stop all this waste from entering into the ocean at the you know point of entry, which in my opinion is really really cool. Now, how do we make a toilet paper version of this? Let's start from the basics. A Rubik's Cube has four different kinds of pieces. A core, six centers, 12 edges, and eight corners. All of which I have to somehow make with paper. Hi guys, it's narrator he's a cuba here. And if I'm being completely honest, I kind of went into this video a little bit too confident. Like at this point, I literally had no idea how to go about this, like at all. Now regular paper Rubik's Cubes have been made before by cutting, folding, gluing, you know, regular paper craft stuff. And that's only possible because of the cardstock paper type used which has a density of about 200 grams per square meter. Now toilet paper on the other hand, it has a density of, 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 of that. Yeah. So folding and gluing definitely not going to work, meaning that I had to figure out another way to do this. And after countless hours of brainstorming, I finally figured it out. Paper mache. Is that, what, is that how it's pronounced? Paper mache. I think it's French. Paper mache. Paper mache. Paper mache. So the idea is to make some type of clay which I will put into a mold to get the pieces of the cube. Big brains. Big brains. My paper mache recipe was simple. All you need is tissue paper, add some water, drain the water, now add some white glue and some flour, then knead it very well and you know, maybe juggle it a bit and yeah, you have paper clay. Making the mold, however, was very tricky. Because I have no experience with mold making or casting, for some reason, I thought using Play-Doh as a mold would be a good idea. It's, look at look at this. So it seems like the Play-Doh is reacting with the paper mache. I don't know why. It's kind of like liquefying the Play-Doh. So I, I need to think of something else, actually. I even went as far as making a mold for paper clay out of paper clay. I finally decided to use the pieces of my most hollow Rubik's Cube as a shape mold as I was running out of time and could not get access to any of the real options. If you want to do this, I advise you use a legit mold, especially if you're going to try to sell it like me later in this video. You want to buy? You want to buy? It's just going to come out better and it's going to be way, way easier. Next, I filled my molds with paper mache and with the aid of solar radiation, we have this. And I have to say, guys, this thing is really solid and hard. That's what she said. For the edge and corner stocks, I use the cardboard tube inside of the tissue, reinforced with super glue of course. And the same thing goes for the core as well. This whole thing was really tiring, it took a lot of time, effort, a lot of brain power. And so I decided to take a break and have a little bit of harmless fun. We're going to do a little challenge now, we're going to be racing. She just learned how to solve the cube like a few weeks ago. We're going to be solving the cube and I'm going to be, I have this paper clay here, I'm going to be spelling out subscribe, the word subscribe. If you win, then you get to keep this cube. Alright? Here is your challenge. Three. Two, one, go. Okay. Okay, I wanna like it today. This thing is no longer elastic. <laughs> it does not have to be fine now, does it? That's a lie, it has to be fine. So I know she has it like a minute. So I'm going to try to. No! Look, it's not. From the spray. I don't know. I don't know. Don't be too fast. Alright, so I think I'm doing well. Huh? What's up? <laughs> Sorry for shouting for the kind of thing. This is a family friendly channel, thank you. So guys, 
subscribe and just like that after humiliating myself i managed to check out something else from my list that's right guys i have a list of things to do in this video and the next thing is to perform a checkerboard pattern on my groundbreaking toilet paper cube but before that Here's all the finished pieces of the cube and after assembling and applying these beautiful stickers I got using code HISAQBA on thecubicle.com Ladies and gentlemen, this is the world's first toilet paper Rubik's Cube Alright, let's test if this works Math, timer, cube Now first turns One small step for man One giant leap for us For sea turtles <laughs> Let's go That was a minor setback, but ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, history is taking place right before your very eyes. The world's first toilet paper Rubik's Cube is being put to the test right here and right now. And we're quickly approaching the last move of the checkerboard pattern. After this move, I'll be proud enough to say I created the world's first fully functional Rubik's Cube out of nothing but it's just a prototype. It took me an extra 9 minutes to put this cube back together again but nonetheless here we have it the world's first kind of functional toilet paper Rubik's cube and now it was time to prove demand by taking this cube out into the market. So we're currently at the mall and everybody here is a potential buyer like this guy. How far? Boss. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. You know what this is ba? This is like a puzzle, it's called the Rubik's Cube. This one now yeah. is made of plastic. Why this one? First ever of its kind. Toilet paper. And its functions, you understand? Yeah. So if you were to buy from these two, which one would you buy? <laughs> no plastic is bad. It's bad for the environment. But this one now, this is toilet paper. If you finish it in a fifth lotion, completely sustainable. So I ask again, if you are to buy, which one would you choose? You heard it. Toilet paper one, plastic zero. Even though these guys were the most confused human beings on the planet, that didn't stop me from shoving this product down their throats. You want to buy? You want to buy? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it was hard to get these people to pay me any money for my cube, but the people were actually loving my cube. I was supposed to have to pick this up. Exactly. Well, not quite everybody. I also ran into some haters of the sea turtles. Forget okay, looks, so. this is like Bitcoin. You know Bitcoin back in the day, nobody really understood it, but yeah, this so is fine now. I know, forget the looks. That's the outward Can appearance. I this one? Yeah, you can, but I advise you don't. <laughs> okay, you can, you can. Just feel it like small. It's like a prototype, you understand? It can get better in the future. You will choose this one. <laughs> Which one will you buy? Oh my. Plastic is bad. Do you like it in fish, ba? Come Let me not tell you a very funny story. At the end of the day, all this plastic, they go into the ocean. And you know, fish, all those your seafood, they swallow it and they die. So I asked one more time, if you were to buy, which one would you buy? still buy it now. Which one would you buy? Why are you not showing me? Sorry, which one would you buy? <laughs> Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Well, you can still buy this one. Though. It's for sale. Sixty-nine dollars. That's like thirty-five k. The sun was quickly setting on me, and nobody wanted to buy my toilet paper Rubik's cube. Well, jokes on them because I'm not going to sell my hard work and tears to just anybody. So I bought it for myself from myself for a whopping seven dollars, which I donated towards Team C's. Happy holidays, guys.